Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to uh, do some test cutting with the Atom Stack P9. All right, on our initial test, we cut out this little dog um, from the sample wood they sent us. Uh, this is two millimeter, one pass. Uh, this is a three millimeter board and it took us four passes with the uh, ortho to cut through it. So really today what we're gonna do is just up the thickness of the wood and see how far we can get with the atom stack. On the website it says that the P9M40 can cut through 15 millimeters, which is a um, pretty, pretty big gap. So we are just gonna see how far it can go. All right, so I pulled the ortho out of the enclosure because I want the exhaust system. It does make a ton of smoke when we're cutting. I still want to evac that out. Uh, we don't have air assist set up yet. Uh, that may come later, but we're going to depend on see how well it cuts. So what I'm going to start with is this piece. It is 4.75. That's what we're going to start with, see how that cuts. I've got our homemade uh, laser bed in here. The atom stack sits on top of it, so it holds it down nice and level. It's actually almost perfect fit, so it's great for what we're doing. I have pulled the card out. So uh, the path that I built in Lightburn is just a 20 millimeter square. It's 400 millimeters a minute at 80%. I just picked that. That's what we're gonna test with and see how that cuts. If we need to adjust that, we will. I've dropped that on the card so I don't have to have it plugged into the computer and we will run it from here. All right, I've used that arrows to move it around. I'm gonna set the height. We've got our little piece. We set it on there. Now remember, if you tighten this too much, it's actually gonna lower the laser when we slide this out. And looking good there. So now, going to close the enclosure get the exhaust on and then we will run this path so due to how this module is in solo there's really nothing you can see while uh, it's cutting so we'll just cut back to after it is done okay so first pass it did not cut and that was just one pass I ran it four passes and it cut through great now the author can't do this uh, without air assist and way more passes than this. I never really got it to cut through this very well at all. I have got both of these in here stacked. I've set the new height. Now what I'm gonna do, okay, framing is good. So let me show you here where you can change passes from this. It's a little hard to see, but you can plus and minus right here, and that will do how many passes you have built in of the particular path you have. So I'm gonna just double it since we've doubled the thickness and see how that does. All right, so we finished doing as much testing as I think really warrants going. I could keep doing passes and passes, but we kind of figured out what it'll do. All right, so our first one was about 4.75 millimeters thick. Thickness there, yeah. yeah. And uh, the first square was like I said, uh, 400 millimeters a minute at 80%. Okay. It easily cut through in four passes. Right. And looks awesome, super smooth. Yep. Uh, so we tried to stack it. And it won't cut through stacked, but you can see where it's scorching like crazy. So I think it's actually that the uh, stack still has a little bit of an air gap. Right. And so it just when it cut that. So instead of doing that, we just moved up in thickness of wood. Right. So our next piece is just a little bit thicker. It's like right at five millimeters, mm -hmm. which is actually a really cool size. And if you could consistently cut with that, it'd be awesome. Now, it did it, and it did it great. Um, I actually dropped the speed down to 200 millimeters a minute, and it cut through this in three passes. So that is better than what our ortho does uh, three millimeters with thickness air wood with air assist on. So uh, as far as the question as to which one cuts better, this cuts better than the ortho 20 watt. So 
Let's move that out of the way and uh, see how thick we got it to cut. So we moved up to our next thickness of wood. And this one is a quarter inch piece of plywood. Or uh, six and a half millimeters, somewhere in there. Quarter inch piece, easily obtainable just about anywhere. Um, and it cut through it in about 10 passes. Uh, I did have to pop it out just a little bit so it ripped out the edges, but I'm impressed that it could cut that. Um, you can start to kind of get an angle on it just a little bit. It's hard to tell. I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell where it's getting skinnier at the bottom. Uh, just because that's how lasers cut. Oh. They go in a little bit like that. Um, but still, I mean, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, at this point, we decided not to go up in any size because uh, it would be, you know, uh, 20 passes or more. Yeah. And um, yeah, I'm not saying that it won't cut right. 10, 15 millimeters, <laughs> but it's, it's not going to be fast enough that it's probably something you should rely on. Right. Um, maybe 100% power, which isn't great, and super slow. And still 20, 40, who knows how many passes. Right. Uh, but we are talking without air assist. Right. <laughs> um, so I would like to see an upgrade to this with air assist and then revisit this to see how it'll cut. But without air assist, it's already blowing the ortho out of the water. Uh, so this is uh, rated at 40 watts input and 5.5 output. Uh, the ortho we have says 20 watts input and it's again the 5, 5.5 output. I'm not exactly sure if that input wattage makes a difference since the output's the same on both of them. Um, but this is a far superior cutter. Until we really get into uh, doing a picture, I'm not sure if it's going to have a higher quality. But it does seem to have a much more pinpoint mm. laser focus. Uh, well, not necessarily the focus, but the actual laser has a much better point, a much smaller point. And the smaller the point, uh, the better it cuts. Yeah. So, uh, and also I believe it'll turn out about the same when we go to do a picture, which... And we'll probably run it through some of the same tests that we still have used on our or just to, you know, maybe some glass and... Glass, maybe uh, stainless can steel. Steel, canvas, just, you know compare it across the board really absolutely yeah i'd, I'd like to see because it's about i think they're similar priced at this point in time um and yeah i'd just like to see which one you know, comes out better yeah so uh you know let us know if there's anything you want to see you absolutely. want us to test or test on both of them still um something we've missed on our other laser on the orbiter so uh yeah let us know in the comments yep so uh thanks for watching we'll see you next time absolutely